are just one day away from the dawn of a new era in space flight. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is ready to blast off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, and it's due to send two NASA astronauts into space, making the SpaceX uh, rocket the first private rocket, first private company overall to launch humans into orbit. We've been counting down to this historic milestone in space exploration in our Launch America coverage, and Mark Strassman is at the Kennedy Space Center where there are Oh, I hate to say this, Mark. Growing concerns about the weather. Say it ain't so. Tony, unfortunately, it is so. You can look at these overcast skies, and they could be the spoiler for tomorrow's launch. But whenever it happens, this test flight will be a dramatic and important milestone in U.S. human space travel. And it will all happen on launch pad 39A behind me, the same pad that sent Apollo 11 to the moon. Right now, the SpaceX rocket and crew capsule, it will carry two veteran NASA astronauts, Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley. They'll travel from here to the International Space Station. Both are shuttle veterans who have flown twice before to the space station, only this time a private company will take them, and that has never been done before, and that would open a new era of commercial space travel. But one factor that neither NASA nor SpaceX can control is the weather. There is right now a 60% chance that conditions will be good enough to launch tomorrow. But it's not just the weather here on site that matters. Meteorologists are tracking conditions up the East Coast, and here's why. If the launch had run into a significant issue, the in-flight abort system would propel the capsule into the Atlantic, and therefore the seas have to be reasonably calm. If the weather is not good for a launch tomorrow, the next opportunity to launch would be Saturday afternoon. Tony? All right, well, whenever it happens, Mark, they will be blasting into the future, though duly noted they're going to blast into the future in some very retro-looking uniforms and a retro-looking capsule as well. Very cool stuff, top to bottom. Mark, thank you very much.